So, so summers and welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber and welcome if you are brand new here so i have had tiny living for quite some time now and i have never made a tiny home can you guys believe it so today's challenge is i'm going to be building a tiny home so first we're going to start the biggest one on the biggest lot and i'm just going to work my way down this neighborhood and make the houses smaller and smaller as we go and i've never done this before so Bear with me. So we're doing a small home, which is 100 tiles. Let's, okay. I'm not the best builder. Let's see. What if we do like a small entryway? And off of the entryway, we have a room. Don't know what it is. Another room. Okay, oh gosh, we got lots of space. Okay, so maybe the hallway can actually continue down. This can be like living room, kitchen, dining, bathroom, bedroom. Oh shoot, something has to be smaller. I don't want my house to just be a square. Okay, maybe we actually make the living room smaller and scoot the bathroom over. Let's scoot it over one more. Okay, it's gonna be a weird shaped bat. Maybe the kitchen's too big. Maybe that's also the problem. That good? How does that look? Maybe. Let's work with this. So, what should the theme be? Maybe the theme should just be like all tiny home. Oh, that's kind of a lame door. Oh, well, we're doing it. And no tiny living windows. Okay, well, apparently they have to be modern. So, let's do that. That does not look good. Yeah, why not? Make them darker. I was thinking of putting a sliding glass door here. That was my original plan, but now I'm thinking it should go here. Because why not? And then we can change the floor out, just floor plan just a little bit. We can put the bathroom back where I wanted it originally. And then we can make the bedroom bigger. Oh, we can still make it even bigger. Oh, we can make the bathroom bigger still too. Sweet. Okay, and we're still in our space. Okay, so for the bedroom, it should be here. Thinking of actually deleting this. Let's add some archways. It's crazy. If I realized that you could get extra benefits from houses this size, I would have been doing that so long ago. So many people on it uh, do the outside first and then work the right inside. I hate doing that. I like to do the inside first and then work on the outside. So right here we have a TV going in, tiny living. Obviously, let's take advantage of the bigger TV while we can. None of these are the right color, so it's kind of annoying. Should we just do white then? Might as well. We could put the couch here and maybe two chairs here. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. BB dot move. Well, I'm not 100% vibing, but it's just gonna have to do. What do we got coffee table wise? Okay, cute little circles here. Maybe one here. Ooh, this one can be blue to match. And then maybe we could put a lamp on this side. I'm tempted to just do a green one. I know that. Oh, wait, no, no, let's do yellow because that is yellow. Does it come in yellow? It can just be gray, I guess. But I do want the picture on the wall to be have some yellow in it. If anything does. I don't think anything does. Anything? Here's a rug. Let's see. Is green? How does a green one look? Does that look stupid? Should we do it like that? Should we center it? Should we angle it? No, that's stupid. We just do that. I don't love it, but we're going to stick with it. So flooring, let's do dark wood to match the rest. Also came with no wallpapers. So let's see, we gotta be experimental. So let's see, what are our colors? Okay, I absolutely hate that green rug, that's, that's going. Oh, and then I could go back to the yellow, right? Does that look terrible? Should we just do the blue? Okay, we're just gonna do the blue. But at least now that the orange lamp matches. Ooh, one of my favorite wallpapers to use right now is actually from Tiny Travelers. I have been like obsessed with it. Look how beautiful that color is. And then it just like fits in. I feel like there needs to be something over here. Let's add some plants. Maybe like a poof or something. Wait, this one like actually kind of matches. 
Like it clashes but matches at the same time, so I'm gonna do it. I feel like we still need one more thing though. I don't know, we'll come back. Simple, but good. So kitchen, is there a tiny living kitchen stuff? Mm, just the bathroom stuff. So actually let's move on to the bathroom. Bathroom stuff can just be all white. There's this really lean mirror though. I don't know if I love it though. Add this, do we want to repeat the rug? Maybe we will, but shake it down. Oh, maybe we could put this like back here. That way there's something. Oh, I, I feel like this bathroom is big enough for a shower and tub, but I also kind of feel like there should be two doors. So maybe now there's not enough space to do a shower tub combo. Did I say combo? I meant separate. Okay, I'm gonna put this over the toilet. I really hate the color that comes in. That one's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, and then we can still fit it in a shower right there. Okay, I'm actually gonna make the rug pink to match this, and then we can bring in some walls to match. Mm -hmm. So we can either do a whole pink bathroom, or maybe switch it up with like a darker color. I don't mind it. It is really bold though. Or actually, I just downloaded Strain Jungle Adventure. So let's see if they have anything really good that matches. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Even though it's not like a perfect match, I'm going to just do it anyway since I just got Jungle Adventure and I want to try to use it as much as possible. Maybe like a plant or something can go in the corner. Probably a hanging one. Okay, that looks good. Just so that there's something. Maybe a trash can. I never think about putting trash cans in bathrooms. Okay, okay. Just gives us some oh, toilet paper. And did you know I was today years old when I found out I, you can swap the toilet paper roll like that? I did not know that. Add some bath towels. We do two. I like to do that. Line them up so that they're per symmetrical. And that's probably good, right? Just for a little bathroom. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen. Ooh, I love these counters. The stove here. The sink here so you can look at it out. Look out it while you're doing the I mean, I don't know how nice your view is, but I think that's pretty nice. Alarm. Some tiny ones to go over those windows. And then maybe Ooh, that's not bad actually. This can actually go in the corner. Like this should be garbage can area. Tiny living doesn't come with match, does it, to be honest? Oh, we don't even have appliances. Maybe we could put one a small espresso machine here. And then you still have this one to prep and the corner. Of course, I don't know if you can really prep on the corner. That works, let's go into the dining room. Oh wait, we should have cute little curtains in here. Okay, here are these. And one I have sized down and one I don't, but one looks like it's pulled down just a little bit more. And now let's go into the dining room. Let's see, it's kind of a small space. What comes with tiny living? Nothing! Shocker, okay. Um, thinking that's just a little too big. Is that too big? Okay, well, considering only one person lives here, I don't think a table that big is necessary. This one maybe? I'm really interested in putting this cabinet, so let's add the cabinet in the corner. We gotta get a rug. Maybe an abstract rug to take away from the symmetry. Oh boy. Like this maybe? That is huge. Let's see if we can get it to fit. That is a very huge rug, but um, I dig it. Add a flower here, hopefully they can still eat. Add some curtains. Let's also add one over the back door. Like that, and you bring this across so it makes it look like you can pull the whole curtain across for privacy, probably late at night. But really, you're, the door is still usable. I feel like we still need some stuff. Maybe like another large plant. This is one of my favorite beds and I think they really need to do an update on get some more color swatches because it just does not have enough and the ones it does have get old really fast. The tiny living did not come with a decent bed, so let's see if we can find something suitable. Something kind of colorful to match the rest of the house since I did put a lot of color here but not something too crazy that it'll stick out. I think this is good because it has the light and dark wood that we've been working with. That way these can be white. Here we can use the turquoise lamp. 
I didn't even think about putting this one in here. Yeah, maybe we'll do this instead of the giant plant. Obviously change the swatch color. Keeping the colorful theme, let's do this. Let's add some curtains. I feel like we should just do white curtains to kind of help separate the dark colors. I kind of want to bring the dark wood in here too. And I just realized I didn't do anything in the bathroom. Let's just do the whole house the same wood. Fun colored books. Let's get a painting up on the wall. Actually, I think this picture matches almost perfectly. I think we should use it. And then did I use it somewhere else? Or is that, oh yeah, I used it in here. So let's take it out of here because we want it in the bedroom. Let's replace the one over here or something else. It's random, but it matches. So I'm gonna keep it. Are those too big for in here? Okay, I think those are a little too big. Okay, we got some tiny living dressers. Here we can do the white one. Some fun color paintings up on the wall and I'm gonna call that good. Honestly guys, I'm not much of a decorator. I, I hate myself for it. And the entryway, I have realized I've been postponing because I honestly never do anything in entryways, but most YouTubers do, so I better do something. Maybe an entryway rug, so like long and rectangle. Oh, speaking of which, we should put one here. Just a nice neutral one. Yeah, we can do that, even though the rest of the house is very colorful. Over here, we can do like a little mirror area. I like to do like a goodbye thing. All right, somewhere where you can put your phone and keys when you get home. Let's do a white candle and maybe this, and it's the perfect color because it matches. I totally forgot to do curtains in this room. We just do blue, that's a whole lot of blue, but oh well. I started doing some landscaping. Let's just throw a roof on here. Let's put a gable piece here. Let's put a regular roof here. Actually, let's do this. Put it all the way over. Pull this down. Put this in it. And then we can come back here, do another gabled piece. Let's get some bushes up front, giant shrubs, shrink them down. Okay, let's put a cute little mailbox out here. And something I like to do is randomly place trees, like I just did, add some dirt, and then I grab a nice little flower patch, like these ones, and I just put them in the tree. Flowers up here. And I love putting tiny ones, like, around the mailbox, even though sometimes the mailbox becomes unusable. Oh, that was thick. Throw in some rocks. I literally almost forgot to paint the outside of the house. Maybe just make it the white brick. What if I put some like these? Oh, that'd be so pretty. And then I feel like we need a light above the door because then I like to see how it looks at night and how it lights up the space. Not terrible, but that is how I would personally do it. And then add just a little bit of dirt along the sidewalk to make it look more complete. Just a little bit, there, now you can kind of see that it is a pathway. And then this is what I did to the backyard off camera. It's a really simple area. Geez, this was not a cheap house at all. Here is the final house. I just moved in one of my Sims that I used to play with all the time off camera before I started my Sim YouTube channel. And this is the house. It's quite small, quite quaint. So let's go inside and I'll give you a tour. So when you go inside, you are greeted in the entryway. You got a mirror with all your belongings where you can put your keys, put your shoes down over there. You can obviously put them down here too. We go in and to the left, we have the living room. It's very simple. It's literally what it's, it's it functions as living room. Obviously that's a stereo bookshelf TV all in one. Come back over here. You have the kitchen. It's a very beautiful kitchen. I like to say. I like the colors. This house is very colorful. Here's just like a little corner nook. Dining room. Dining room super cute. It's very functional because it literally you just you eat in here. <laughs> really cute. Very purple. This house does have tons of color. You come back out this way. Over here you have the bathroom. And in here you have the bedroom. Again, very colorful. I just wanted to use up all the colors because it comes with Dream Home Decorator. I mean, tiny living. 
Through the dining room, you can actually enter the pack patio. Here it is. You can do some gardening back here. And your property is actually really huge, so you have lots of space to expand. Thank you for watching the first part of my tiny home building. I can't wait to do the next two, the uh, tiny home and then like the micro home. I think it's like macro, micro. I don't know. But I'm so excited to do that. So stay tuned and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, so simmers.